This probably doesn't come as a shock to many of you, but Ford Out New Vegas isn't a pretty game. The visuals look dated years before the game even released, but thankfully we can significantly improve these with mods. Now the obvious choice here would be for me to tell you all to use New Vegas Reloaded, which will add things like dynamic shadows, god rays, and various other visual effects that go a massive way in modernizing the look of New Vegas. Although despite it getting a lot better in the recent nightly builds, it's still pretty performance intensive, so I can understand if you don't want to use it or maybe can't even run it. Which is why today we're going to be looking at some performance friendly mods that you can install that'll make your game look way better than vanilla. Desert Natural Weathers is one of the weather mods we're going to be looking at today, and it's one of the ones you just can't go wrong with. It'll overhaul the game's weathers, and I don't think there's another way to say it other than these just look amazing. Covering all DLCs and even having a Taylor 2 Wastelands version available, this mod makes the game feel a lot more natural and far easier on the eyes than the vanilla weathers, as that orange hue from the vanilla game is gone. Instead, these weathers will give your game a nice visual upgrade, and this is easily my go-to weather mod. However, I can understand if you feel as though some of the weathers are a bit too muted or aren't necessarily vibrant enough for you. If that's the case, then you might want to try out Desert Natural Realism Redux, which will require DM weathers, but what this mod's aiming to do is add in more realistic lighting. With the colours having a lot more depth, and areas like Zion or Big Mountain just look beautiful with this mod installed. These areas actually now feel unique from the Mojave, You'll find that the blues really pop with this mod installed, as the weathers are overall just a lot more vibrant. It's compatible with both the New Vegas and Taylor 2 Wasteland version of DM Weathers, so no matter if you're playing with Taylor 2 Wastelands or just base New Vegas, you can use this mod. But would you just look at the LOD? I mean, yeah, it's not good. New Vegas's LOD has always been, well, passable at the best of times. So a mod that's going to help with that is Dusty Distance Redone, which is going to increase the amount of fog on the horizon which will obscure some of that really annoying Z fighting. This mod comes with a configurable INI where you can adjust things like the fog colour, strength and even the distance. However, if you do opt for this, a great mod to pair with it is going to be Blurry Distance as well. And this is simply just going to add a blur to that horizon, which will help it blend with the sky a lot more. Similarly, this will also come with a customizable INI, although in my opinion the default settings are fine. You could also use both of these mods individually, although I think combining them really gives you the best outcome. With these mods, your exteriors are gonna look great, and for interiors, you simply need to pick up Atmospheric Lighting Tweak, which is gonna change how some of the interiors in-game look. Adjusting the light templates to better fit the cells that they're in, and this gives them a nice upgrade, and it will even apply to the Capital Wasteland 2 if you're using the Taylor 2 Wasteland version. So if you're looking for some performance-friendly mods that will give your New Vegas the visual upgrade the game so desperately needs, check out some of these. But anyways, that's gonna be all for today. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider joining the channel and becoming a member as you get early access to videos. With that being said though, I hope to see you all next time.